In order for a sport to be accepted, a sport must be wildly practiced by men in at least 75 countries and on four continents, and by women in a minimum of 40 countries and on three continents. The sport must also increase the value and appeal of the Olympic Games and retain and reflect its modern traditions. Does a live pigeon shooting fit the requirements because it was once an official Olympic sport? Hey. I'm Alex Lam, and in this video of Stories of the World, we'll be talking about eight of the weirdest Olympic sports to have ever existed. We all know the Olympics, it's a world class event, but here's something you might not know the sports can be changed. A sport can be taken out or put in, and this is because they want to keep the Olympics modern. But even with the good intentions, some sports seem so wildly out of place that it'll make you wonder. How on earth did this get approved? The 8 sports that we're about to talk about may make you wish they still existed. So let's get to it. Number 1. Club Swinging Club Swinging appeared twice as an Olympic sport, in 1904 and in 1932. It involves the athletes standing and holding clubs which resemble bowling pins in each hand and twirl them around. The club is not allowed to leave the hand and the more complicated the routine, the more points they score. They need to bring this back. But my main concern is, are they allowed to play music? Because I have a couple of buddies, uh, if you put on some EDM music on, they are some gold medalists in club swings. Number 2. Live Pigeon Shooting The modern version is we shoot clay targets, but during the 1900s Olympics, they shot live pigeons. The objective of the event was to shoot and kill as many as possible over 300 pigeons were shot. It's pretty obvious why this sport was only ever held once and have never been repeated. But in the organizers defense, maybe they had good intention. Since the pigeons can maneuver in the air, it could raise the difficulty level. And I mean, it is the Olympics. So, you know, you want everything to be as hard as possible. Even if that was true, I still find it crazy that somehow this got approved. Imagine if you were one of the athletes, how would you be Practicing. Would you be practicing with live pigeons in your home country? Who knows? Number three, pistol dueling. It is exactly what you're thinking. In the 1900s Olympics, competitors fired dueling pistols at plaster dummies from 20 meters and 30 meters. In the 1908 Olympics, dueling was a demonstration sport and featured two athletes firing at each other with dueling pistols loaded with wax bullets and wearing protective equipment. This is the sport that I want back. I mean, imagine going to your local sports center and they had pistol dueling classes. It'd be the best after work de-stressor. But we do have paintball and airsoft. So, I mean, it makes me wonder, do you guys think that airsoft and paintball will become an Olympic sport one day? Number four, plunge for distance. This event was only held once in 1904. Competitors dove from standing positions and their distance was measured after 60 seconds had passed or their head broke the surface of the water, whichever came first. Now I'm literally speechless. It just seems like a game you'd play at the swimming pool with your mates. Though I would love to track down how this event actually got approved. Like who proposed the event and how did they go about convincing the Olympic board? Now that would be an interesting video. At first, I thought you could actually swim when you're underwater, but you literally just jump in and you float. What the hell? This was an actual Olympic event. Number five. Tandem bicycle racing. It's pretty much normal bike racing, but you're on those bikes for two people. Just looking at the event, I'd hate to be the guy on the back. I mean, look how closely his face is to the other guy's ass. How many times do you think teams have broken up due to the guy in front farting? Like if I was the guy in the back, I would consistently do the a thousand years of pain prank. Interestingly, this event was infamous for crashes and always drew a crowd. The event only appeared once and that was during the 1964 Olympics. Number six, tug of war. Surprisingly, it was at every Olympics from 1900s to 1920s. Teams had to pull their opponents six feet to win or make the most progress. It sounds like a team building exercise during a camping trip. As a world-class Olympic sport though, yeah, I don't think so. Number seven, solo synchronized swimming. 
Now when you think of synchronized swimming, you normally think of a team of swimmers coordinating their moves with each other. So how do you do solo synchronized swimming? It'd be difficult to judge how a single swimmer synchronizes his move with no teammates, right? Apparently, solo synchronized swimmers are judged on how well they dance to the selection of music. Now just imagine if Michael Jackson competed, he'd win every time, you know, just doing the moonwalk underwater and popping and locking. Jesus, I can't believe this was an event. Number eight, swimming obstacle course. In 1900, the French Summer Olympics included a swimming obstacle race, just like a normal swimming race, except this had three obstacles, which included pole climbing and boats to climb onto and swim under. I'm literally speechless, like, What's the process they needed to go through to represent their country? Like, how can you say, oh, I am the best obstacle swimming racer here. I am going to represent Australia. All of these events have been removed from the Olympics and has long since been forgotten. Now, I tried to look up like official rules for each of the events and couldn't find a single thing. Here's a question for you guys. If you could create any sports to put into the Olympics, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if I could invent a sport, it would probably be like a 100 on 100 MMA fight. You know, go big or go home. Like it's the Olympics, man. They have the resources to track every single competitor. It'd be the best event ever. So that's eight of the weirdest Olympic sports to have ever existed. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more stories. I've got a ton of other interesting stories already made. So be sure to check those out. I'm Alex Lamb and this is Stories of the World.